Awesome. Alright guys, Scott here for the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com and today we're going to go over this diamond testing kit. I had a couple requests from my group uh, over in my Patreon group asking if I would show folks how to use the Diamond Selector 2 kit. Um, this is something my wife got me for Christmas. It's actually a really cool kit. It comes with the Diamond Selector uh, tool itself, which is this thing right here. Um, it comes with this, uh, what do they call it? The uh, currency detecting with with LED. I can't read it. I'm, I got out of focus here. Currency detecting with LED microscope. So you can look real closely at things. Uh, it actually came with a scale, and we're actually going to test some of these rings here today. Um, the scale's pretty nice, actually. So we'll move some of this out of the way to get us in focus to the diamond testing itself. Um, so it comes with an instruction manual. Um, you have to calibrate the machine first. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn it on and just slide that dial over. And then you have to wait until this lamp is ready. What happens is this little tip right here is where you're going to test the diamonds with but you gotta wait till it heats up and when that lamp is on we are ready to rock now I have a few rings here that I have uh, put in focus that I have been curious about I found a couple of these last year I know there's a couple in here I know that are not um, real diamonds so we'll test those and we'll sh uh, just show you the difference but right now it looks like my light is lit up now, the cool, interesting thing about this, you have to calibrate it based on the size of the diamond. So, for instance, if we're going to pick this one first, um, this one has some small diamonds in it, not too big, not too small. I would say they're probably less than a quarter carat. So, there is a graph inside the instruction manual to tell you how to calibrate this. So, what I've found is that basically when you turn this thing on, you raise the volume up. You're calibrating it. We're going to stick it at around four and a half is where I'm going to put it for these size of diamonds that I'm testing today. Uh, that's based on the, the scale and the uh, instructions. So what you want to do is on the back side, there's this metal plate. You have to make sure that you're holding that with your fingers on that metal plate. And you have to be holding the ring itself to, in order to test it. Now, what you want to do is you don't want to come in at an angle. you got to come in at a 90 degree and you've got to make sure you hit that diamond on the head. And when you do, when you hear that beep, those beeps, those three beeps, that is a diamond. That is how you determine. So again, we'll put it on here again. Oops. I don't know if you can see that or not. Come out a little bit. So that is a pure diamond. Let's try to test one of the ones on the outer rim. It's going to be a little bit harder for me to see this and get it in the camera here. If you hear hear that, that is hitting metal. So you don't want to hit that. There we go. Oop. So I'm hitting the metal too, but there... The outer, the outer rim of diamonds is actually real, so um, that's how you tell if you're hitting the metal or not. When you get that sound, don't hit the metal. <laughs> so let's test another one here. Um, these ones are harder to get too because they're really small and there's a couple of diamonds that are missing out of it. I'll do my best here to, uh, to get on one of them. There we go. They are real diamonds as well. And then this one's even harder yet. This is a gold wedding band or some design ring that has a bunch of sparkly diamonds in it. Small diamonds, but we'll try to get on one of them. <laughs> it's hard. Coming in too close to an angle here. Well, it's good at ring. Trust me, I know what these are. I'm hitting them at an angle here, and that's not the way you're supposed to do it. But there's a lot of little diamonds in there. But they are diamonds. There we go. 
I just can't keep my fingers on it long enough. But here's one that I don't think is a diamond. <laughs> it's awful big. And I found it at a metal detecting event. Um, I'm pretty sure nobody would have buried this in the ground if it was a real diamond. You notice there's nothing happening. So there you go. Calibrate this down a little bit. Here's an earring stud that I found at the beach one year. I'm pretty sure that's that's also not a diamond. It's doing nothing. <laughs> so this is the easiest one for me to test, really. But again, come straight down on it. Plain as day. That ring there is some money, my friends. I think that's worth some pretty good change. I'll put them all on my scale to see how much gold I have here. We'll put those on. Three good gold rings. Hit the mode or hit it on. Oops, I gotta let it let it zero out first. So we got it zeroed out. Put a rings on there. I have 8.48 grams of gold right there. I don't even know what that's worth. <laughs> but this is a pretty cool little test kit. I've heard good things about them. Um, I heard they work pretty good. So if you guys are looking for anything like this, the important thing is, you know, when you're done, make sure you turn it off, obviously, and put this tip back on it to protect that, that tip of your testing node there. And now remember that the tip is here to make sure you're touching the metal on the back and when you're testing your rings, holding on to your rings, with your bare hands, no gloves, um, something happens with you touching the metal and touching the metal on the ring and the, and the testing uh, actually makes it work. So um, if you're looking for a little kit like this, um, I have my wife send me the link. I'll share it in the description for you. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Nothing fancy here. Just uh, you can, They're all over the place. There's different ones you can buy. Um, she picked up this one. Comes with a little case like this. Oh, and if you have loose diamonds you can put them in this thing as well but you have to be touching when you're testing you have to be touching the metal tray uh, as well as touching the back plate here so i guess it creates some sort of current so there's some different size stones you can put in there if they're loose stones i don't have any loose stones so i didn't even know that was actually in there until i looked this morning so wow surprise all right that's all really all i got for the diamond testing kit the Diamond Selector 2, that is. Works pretty good. I highly suggest it. Um, here's your chart, actually. So if you have your 0.5 carats and down, you want to calibrate it. If the temperature is 10 degrees Celsius and down, um, use a 5, 6, 7, depending on the... You know, we're in Fahrenheit, so you got to do conversion. But I found that around 4 to 5 was good for the size of diamonds that we have here. So worked all right for me. It beeped. That's what you want. So, yeah, the Diamond Selector Two. Recommend picking one up if you want to have some ring. If you have some rings, you need some. You need to test some diamonds, or if you're at the beach, find some of those nice rings at the beach. You can really quickly tell if they're junk or not. So, uh, yeah, again, I'll put this in the description of my video. Let's see if you guys are looking for this kit. Uh, it's out there on Amazon. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me today. Hope you enjoyed this quick easy diamond testing video uh, let me know if I'm doing something wrong if not uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in another video thanks for watching see you